from Tomlinson Stadium in Ellensburg, Washington. It's time for Lone Star Conference Digital Network Play. It's the Angelo State Rams visiting the Central Washington Wildcats, the Rams defending Lone Star Conference champions, and Wildcats rank second in the preseason polls. Catching it at the 15, Tyler Flanagan. Flanagan makes some room. He's at the 50. Flanagan off to the races. The 20, the 10, and Tyler Flanagan returns it for a touchdown. Welcome to Ellensburg, Eastern New Mexico. Their first trip to Ellensburg. Gibson, short pass, dumps it off and into the end zone. Shaquille Brown, the senior tight end, gives the Buffaloes the lead. West Texas a &M. Movement. And Allred's going to keep this one himself. Bouncing to the outside. He's at the 10, 5, keeping that motor going. And he makes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Knights. So a conversion here would really solidify that. As Lemming goes to the far side in the flat. It's Cook. Cook. Dynamic as he's into the end zone. Marcus Cook for the 44-yard touchdown. Strike a pose. What injury, he looks 100% out there. And McGill gives it to Henderson. Henderson finding a gap as he goes into the end zone. Touchdown Wildcats as they take the lead right back off the seven yard run from Drajon Henderson. Thunder and Lightning duo once again. And then you see a very familiar name, Johnny Navarro with the turnover belt. And I asked coach, how did that start? And he started in the spring ball that was what they won and somehow turned into the turnover belt as Fisk is a big fan of WWE and Tyler Flanagan refusing to go down turns that into a first down. Tanner you guys on defense doing enough as well as on special teams just talk about what was said this week a complete 180 where you guys say you believe in yourself and this week we saw that. No, yeah we uh we knew last week wasn't a standard of this team. Sin has been very elusive this first half but Wildcats finally caught him. Yeah, Clark's been another one of those players that has really stepped his game up the last couple of weeks. Uh, he just made he makes big plays right now, and he's been doing it for at least three weeks. It's pretty impressive. And I think the Wildcats adjusting to Gibson, where you notice yes. nobody's trying to tackle him. They're right. they're making sure that he has nowhere to run and then going in. And As that time, it was Isaac Clark, the 6'4 redshirt sophomore out of Puyallup, getting the job done. And, and as far as X is concerned, your defensive secondary is doing a great job of covering those receivers because he can't find anybody. Under 30 seconds left, McGill going deep. Oh. And that is brought in, what a catch by Darius Morrison. So fourth down, Nicholson going and that is a touchdown. Hero Patterson scoring on the Knights for the first time since any team has done since October. And Lakeside gets on the board here in the 1A state championships. And that's great for Patterson uh, and Mickelson, both seniors, and getting a chance to get into the end zone during the state championship game as part of their senior campaign. Noah Hamilton with the kick and a fun story as the kick is up and through. It's 35-7 after the score. And twin brothers, as we have Lo Noah and Liam Hamilton, Twin brothers in their actually nationally ranked kicker and long snapper. Oh, okay. That is that is fun. You know, they've probably been practicing in the basement for years. It's on so much and to turn a fourth and one for them into a first and ten for you guys off of that, it was a huge momentum swing. Yeah, I think you know when you're we always talk about it offensively, if you if you get into big drives, long drives, and they go over eight, ten plays, you got as big an opportunity to make a mistake as they do. The 1A state championship, well, it belongs to Royal as the dynasty continues and the Knights get their 12th overall state championship. In the Seattle uh, Times the other day, to mention how athletes do better after school because of that opportunity. And you know, I'm so happy about Title IX because when I was a kid, they didn't have that. 
And as I was in business, I saw young ladies coming into the workplace, and they were so much better. Well, I can't argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. You're laying the path for those that come after you. So the Steve Hurtling Field, you just heard from Steve Hurtling himself. We're going to go ahead and uh, take a break. Second half coming up. You're watching the Lone Star Conference Digital Network. <laughs> 